In order to do a refund in our software, you go to Manager's menu and Refund. Now, uh, you don't have to be a manager in order to do this, but of course you have to be an employee with clearance to do refunds, with uh, the you know license to do refunds. And uh, we discussed that in a previous tutorial of how you give clearances to your uh, to your employees as you create your employee table, how you set what you allow for an employee to be able to do and what they're not allowed to do in this software. So assuming you're an employee with a, you know granted refund operations, you can go to manager's menu and refund and get to this feature where all you need to do is input the invoice number, receipt number in here, click find and that invoice will pop up in here and you can go through the different ways of refunding it. Uh, for the purpose of this video tutorial, we'll also tell you how to find the invoice number. If let's say the customer didn't bring back the receipt, maybe they lost it or misplaced it. So I need to look up the invoice number. Uh, we can go to history, look up past invoices. And in here, of course, you can look up invoices for any reason of needing to look up the invoice. So if you have the invoice number, you can type it in here and look it up. Uh, but in our case we don't and that's why we got here so we'll be using either looking up by last name of the customer, phone number of the customer, or email address of the customer. So let's keep it simple and do a last name search in here and click find and as you can see it found uh, two invoices, invoice number one and invoice number two that has three lines and uh, you know in order to identify the one you want if you have multiple ones like this you can go through this additional data on these invoices and figure out you know down to the items and item ID the date you know time and figure out which one you want it let's say we wanted to uh, discuss invoice number two so we'll go ahead and go get back to the refund procedure for invoice number two just type 2 in here, hit enter, or click find, and it's going to pull up the invoice with the three lines. Now, um, you have a couple ways of uh, refunding in here. Let's say you want to refund the entire invoice, you'll simply click refund all, this button here. Uh, if you wanted to refund, just let's say one item from the entire invoice, you select that one item, like I highlighted in here, and click refund selected. Let's say you wanted to refund, I don't know, uh, multiple items, but still not all of the items. You can hold down the control button of your keyboard and just click here to highlight or uh, deselect these uh, lines. So let's say I want to refund these two lines, but not this one. Now, after I've selected them, highlighted them, I can just click refund selected and it's going to refund those that I've selected. Uh, also, let's say you have a scenario like this line in here has is one line but quantity three, three items on it, of the quantity three of the same item. And I really want to refund just one or two of them, meaning not the entire quantity. Uh, then you select that line that has multiple quantities that you need to break up or uncluster and you click uncluster quantity and it's going to make it into three lines where you can then select the exact lines or line that you want to refund leaving the others unselected and then click refund selected now for the simplicity of this video tutorial we'll just go ahead with the option to refund all refund the entire invoice so click that button and the software is just going to advise you on uh, what kind of change you owe to the customer what you need to return and that's how you do refunds.